this video, we're gonna train for a motocross race here at Lake Elsinore Motorsports Park. This facility has six different tracks, and on March 3rd, we're gonna be racing on the amateur track. Should be a lot of fun, and let's get at it. You ready? You ready? Sure. All right. got to the track first things first got to do some bike work make sure the bikes are all tuned up ready to go for the day you got to do tire pressure fill it up with gas make sure chains good there's some chain lube air down the forks all that good stuff what do you do 12 or 11 and a half good Woo! oh man yeah you need to tighten that a little bit All right, getting all geared up. Ready to get out there and do some warm-ups. Track looks pretty interesting. It's got like muddy corners and it has dry jumps, so definitely take your time on a couple laps, learn the track, and you see what you can do. This is Drake's first time back on this track since his crash in November where he broke his collarbone on the start. So we'll see how good he does today. He's trying to get over that, that hump for sure. I've been here before countless amount of times, but they changed it up a lot. So I had to figure out some new spots, watch other people hit it, and kind of follow them, figure out a line. Track conditions are way different than normal here at Elsinore, so because of all the rain. Now it's time to go get some time lapse of the boys, and we start our training. I'm picking out the inside, and the outside of the turmoil. Yeah. yeah. And I see that's how you like, yeah. yeah. And I still can't see. 
bros are gonna put in two laps each, and we're gonna do lap times, see where they're at right now. What do you think his All time's right. gonna be? I think he'll be around, just going off how this track used to be, I think he'll be at like 120, probably 118, 120, that's my guess. We got uh, 126 on the first lap. He got blocked on a jump over there though. I saw him come up on the slower guys, so. He got 130 on that one. That was, yeah, he's getting held up. So we got 120, Ace got a 126. Drake got a 131. There's a lot of traffic, so it's kind of making everyone's lap times kind of wonky. They're, they're watering making the mud. Yeah, they're watering the mud. Good old Elsinore logic. start by doing some drills. We're gonna do standing up drill for two laps, stand up the entire track, every obstacle, as fast as you go, as fast as you wanna go. Just standing up, maintaining that bounce through the corners. Yeah, let's get it. That's tough, man. You, know, you forget how much you seat bounce and, and how much you want to sit in the turns and stuff. So I think the best thing to work on is probably like the inside part of the track where there's a lot of S turns, ruts, and options for different lines and stuff. So we're gonna go over the line selection and just trying to nail some inside ruts and stuff. All right, so this is the inside part of the track, probably the most technical spot as far as turns go. We have an option lane there. It has an inside outside option. And then you see the main line comes from the inside comes over here into this big U-turn. So there's multiple lines. You can take the outside and try and rail around the outside of the U-turn, or you can take this rut that's like perfectly in the middle. It's nice and fast. You know what they say, jump for show, turn for dough. So we gotta get faster at our turns. Hopefully we win some, uh, you know, some plaques when we uh, do this race on Sunday. All right, who wants to hit it first? Trey, Trey wants to hit it first. All right, let's see how you do. that you can see in both those takes is they dab their foot which stood them up in the turn. You want to keep that foot out and trust yourself and trust the bike. It's just really hard to do. That was basically picture perfect. Maybe a little bit more steady on the throttle but that was really fast and really good technique. That was good technique. Oh, uh, that was pretty chopped on the throttle. So the thing I noticed with Ace is he's, he's pulling in the clutch halfway in the straight before the uh, before the turn. You're pulling in all the way and just coasting into the turn. The problem with that is it releases your suspension and all the, the load that you're putting on the front of your bike to hold you in that rut is being released. So try to go in with no clutch. Ideally, you don't want to use any clutch. If you can avoid Me, I use a ton of clutch. So I do as I say, not as I do. But <laughs> all right, go ahead, give it a shot. That was money right there. That was really good. 
All right, it's the end of the day. We did some training today, worked on line selection, ruts, just, you know, overall stamina, all that good stuff. So hopefully the lap times will show it. We'll see. You guys ready? Yeah. They're ready. All right, let's go. All right, they're gonna go off for a warm-up lap. And then when they come back around, this is our start and, start and finish, thanks to Amethyst Gonzalez. All right, let's go. Oh, what was uh, Ace? 125. Ace 125. That's his fastest lap on this track yet. And and Drake's fastest just now. He got 127. So. 124. <laughs> He's knocking on the door. 123s, man. That's freaking rad. Yeah, now. 121. Yeah. 0.9. Holy crap. He's got the best lap time by far, the 121. <laughs> that was All right, first lap. my turn. I'm gonna see if I can get a, uh, yeah, you're beat my 128. Five. All of them? Oh, I have one. Yeah. I'm looking in your glasses. Don't kiss me. Ooh, they might kiss. <laughs> Twenty-four and then uh, three 123s. Well, 123, huh? Yeah. All the last three were 23. Yep. All right. The, fir I'll the take first that. 23 was the quickest one. My fastest last time was a uh, 128. Yeah. So I'll take five seconds. Ace just went out for another session and he beat his time by five seconds. So he's down at 120.7. We that he freaking kicked butt. He's got the fastest time of the day. <laughs> You're not gonna do a side lap? Nope. Steve's going out for his lap time. You got a 130. <laughs> Dude, Squirrely Steve strikes oh, back. Wow. And you didn't even hit the step up. No. Did you hit the whoops? No. He didn't, oh, he didn't hit the step oh, up God. or the whoops, and he got a 130. I guarantee if you hit those obstacles, you would have you beat my time, too. We put in some heaters at the end of the day, beat our lap times, so that's really cool. But yeah, it was a successful day of training and having fun on dirt bikes. Now we're race ready for this Sunday. March 3rd, baby, let's go. Woo!